there, Strat fans. It's Colonel Strat, the strategy extraordinaire, here again. <clears throat> and we're back here with our um, Carl Franz Empire Let's Play. So where we left off, we were in a in a pretty good position. We uh, we had Belthazar coming back to the homeland to get some better units. Um, we had just finished mopping up Vlad and and had gone t towards uh, Blackstone Post and mopping up Kemmler to complete our short campaign victory. We'll probably be able to do that today. Um, Carl is going to go take care of the greenskin threat here in the mountains, and I may give some, um, I may give some uh, mountain ranges to um, Karakaz to Karakadrin here, because um, mountain is a, is isn't exactly uh, habitable habitable for us. Um, oh, that's that's cool. I never saw that before. <laughs> that's cool. Um, anyway, uh, we are actively fighting back um uh the the green skins here the crack the crooked moon um i don't know where scarsnick is but we're gonna have to keep an eye out for him um we have a dwarf army here that should be able to keep this area c controlled it's we gotta worry about akendor falling um they're only tier i mean they're tier three so they might be able to withstand and we do have um, this dwarf army here for Zufbar that's going to go down and attack Barak Var. Marius Lightdorf is down there as well, besieging it. So I think I don't think the south is under threat. So that's why we're going we're going uh, to the east and to the west. So without further ado, let's end our turn because we've already done our moves. Um, okay, Slanesh, what do you? Okay, declare war. That's cool with me. I mean, I'm surprised you're still alive at this stage. Nakari usually gets killed pretty easy because all the elves are pissed off at him. Um, I'm surprised he's alive. I'm more worried about Kemmler in the Crooked Moon. Okay. Um, he just left his capital undefended. And there goes Lewin taking it. So now they don't have a capital. Um, okay. So that pretty much... Um, seals the fate of Kemmler. Alright, so we're gonna stop the war, increase our authority, go. Alright, so, um, I think I could, that would be a big battle right there, those two vampire forces. The Red Duke, and all that. Um, I mean, oh, he does have this. He does have Montfort, I forgot about that. I forgot. And there's a Wa army going for Musulon. I think I could take him. Let's, uh... Oh, wait, no, I can't initiate combat with them. <clears throat> well, we will just hang tight here because all of these areas are hi highly fortified. Um, and whatever they choose to go, we will try to intercept. I don't want to bring Boris too far out because then <clears throat> the settlement garrison won't be able to help him. So maybe I'll just bring him within... Nah, I don't want, I don't want to bring him out there. If he's gonna get, oh no, I can I can encamp him right here. Moving off. That way it'll be more this enticing. The nation. We're within our reinforcement range, so they'll be enticed for the battle, not the siege. But um, we'll have this garrison, even though it's not a big garrison, it'll it'll help us out. I, I don't know, can they reach? Never. I don't think so. This is impudence. I don't think they can they can reach. We might. Want to go and help Lewin here? King Lewin I mean, he's got he's got his knights of the realm. He's got a lot of good units for Bretonia. Bretonia doesn't have a lot of great units, but they do have some some good units. Oh, would you look at that? Um, they at war. For the wisdom of, and what can the Dowie do for you on this fine day? Let's see. That'd be a perfect one to bring in. Uh, let's see, can you join my war against the Scabii? Really? So they're not at war, so they're gonna allow them to just march right through. Get out me, Ugh, okay. Well, I can either... I think I'll, I think I'll send Balthazar down there to deal with them, then. The Empire, let a go where the wind shall. Alright, Balthazar, I'm gonna have to have you go and, uh, <sighs> handle that. Yes, that will do. So hopefully they don't get. Uh, they might. They might get there before he gets there, but um, hopefully not. Um, 
Let's see if we can... Okay, they're just... They're just letting us, I guess, because I don't think they can reinforce. So, let's do this one. And he leaves. He might still reinforce. Fight for our nation. Okay, that's a decisive. Uh, I mean, 50, it's not a whole lot. Alright, and then we'll um, occupy this, and we'll give it back to the dwarves almost immediately. To battle! All right, we'll get, um, because he's got all of these ones, I'm going to buff him up. Plate armor and deadly blade so he can hit better. Let's see. You don't have any of your special thing. I, mean, I want him to get these two. Once he gets these two, he'll be really good. Um, we'll punish troops, which will be good. And wild eyed. Increase your hit chance. All right, it's uh, wars. It is tough. Greetings, Sigma's chum. Uh, Mount Squighorn. There you go, buddy. Yes. Now you have your first. Now you have your province built built back. So we're trying to build up the dwarves, get them, get them to a better power ranking, so they can be a good ally. Um, it may backfire, I know, but um, I think it's going to be a good plan. Swartzhofen does have a guard house, which will make it a minor settlement battle. Um, that might slow down. <laughs> But their stone trolls is what's the big problem here. Not the goblins or anything like that, because those are easy. Alright, building upgrade. Uh, I'll do one more one of these. Alright, now I'm going to march Carl. I am Prince and Emperor. Make haste, men. Alright, Carl. Let's go up here. That's what I thought. thought there was a green skin force up here, but they're not really that... Good. It should be easy to, to nail them out. I don't know if they have more in the Darklands over here. Um, they might have more. I'm not sure. Um, Carl looks so majestic on Deathclaw. All right, so that'll be it for this turn. Um, let's look one more time at diplomacy. Um, come on, I am Billy guy. Right, there we go. True King I. Let's give some more trade. Mm. So. You have Can you give proposal? me trade finally? Okay, I'll do a full military exit at alliance with you too. Even though uh, you're getting gang banged by Ikit Claw, and I don't see you guys actually being able to survive. All right. No. Wood elves are always hard to to get trade agreements with. Yeah, I think uh, I think the border princes are about to be killed because um, yeah, Ikit's down there. What does he got? He's 11, he's on his... He's on his Doom Flare. Don't cross wires. If he's on his Doom Wheel, he's a, he's a big problem. Alright, um... Alright, we'll, we'll upgrade this. That should... Okay, we got more? Okay. Uh, let's upgrade this one. Tempelhof. And that'll do. Okay. Alright, that's in turn... The next turn. We're at turn 51. So... Welcome, oldest friends of the Empire. Oh, the oldest friends of the Empire. All right, all right. I'll be alliance with you. Oh, there he is. There's Azag. He was down there trying to slap some dwarves around. Okay. Um, I'm helping out this wood elf army with my settlement garrison. Go ahead, die. See the factions of order. Um, they benefit from being their allies because they again they have strong aversion. Um, they have strong, like, relations. Um, let's see, my, no, no, a certain independence about the Tsar. Oh, okay. So you're gonna go up there. Is that it? Um, I mean, I see why you did that. Um, is it a smart move? Probably not. But I see why you did that. About the Tsar's gonna chase him down. Alright, let's see what, uh, again. I see why you did that. It's not smart, though. And, um... Like now, his uh doesn't have a home region. Do they still have a big army? I don't think they do. Uh, once once they die, we'll we'll gain that chapter objective. I'll um see if I can't chase the Red Duke down because he could cause problems. Money buildings, Lord not moved. Okay. Um, there's Scarsnick. There he is. What does he got? Uh, he's got a little bit of everything, but it's kind of a small army. Uh, what's his wah? Armor piercing missile damage, base missile damage, weapon damage. 
So he does a lot over the board with melee attack. It's more for missiles. He only has a few missiles. I think we'll fight this one. It'll be another green skin one, but it, it'll be a good fight. Um, it'd be better if we had um, if we had Thorgrim with us, but uh, we have a good enough um, defense force that I think we can we can deal with them pretty easily. Let's see if he. Let's hope he doesn't retreat. Because if he retreats, oh nope, he won't. All right, so it's a decisive. We're going to save, because he is higher level, but um, again, we can deal with him pretty easily. His units are not that good, So and, we, and he has less units. He's only got a couple units of stone. He's got two giants, and giants are a big giant pain in the ass, but I think we have a clear battlefield, because this is probably a plains. He's only got a couple cav units. He doesn't have a whole lot. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's actually a really good, really good one, because it's got these hills in the back. Alright, yeah, we'll fight it. Sorry about the squeaky chair strap fans. I've noticed that in a couple of my uh, videos. <sighs> I need to get a new one. I'm glad that I got this mic updated, but I, uh, I need to get a lot of updates to my setup. Um, not just for you guys, but also for me, because this chair, it sounds squeaky but it's also very uncomfortable yeah we should um we only have he only has a few fast units <clears throat> we have a lot of missiles and i think we'll be able to set up a, def a nice defensive line and we have a lot more range than him he's got i mean he's got that rock lobber but um he doesn't have a lot of uh what's the word i'm looking for um <clears throat> high damaging range units and I could just send my Demigriff Knights back there to get them. Um, so let's see. Let's we set up our great Martyrs! swords. I hate it when it's so bright I can't see. Alright, so we'll keep the these guys on either of the sides to protect the, the flanks. Have the handgunners set up straddling. Each two. We are Sigma's heirs. One, one, one there. Yeah, so we can hammer. cover the full extent of the line. Alright, and then of course we'll have our light wizard and our warrior priest in the middle with our our lord here on this Pegasus. Light wizard right there. Awaiting orders. We'll have the um, tank, the steam tank, on the side. And then, of course, Hellstorm. we're going to have our hellstorms on either side Find as well. In the middle. Show us the phone. And then the, uh, the hell blasters. Hell blaster. Might be a little bit of a hill, but... Um, They may, they may have, they may struggle to get some targets, but it'll be fine. Those big targets, they'll definitely be able to get. All right, and um, I think serve. we got everything's everything Watch good. All right, let's start a deployment. Great swords. I'm going to angle these guys this way just to be safe. Yes, General. All right. Black powder blessed. Raise your weapons. Alrighty. They're 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 attacking the steam tank. I knew they were going to attack a high valued target. Look at that, we're already gaining balance of power. And we're actually hitting <laughs> their artillery back there with ours. That's insane. That's insane. Our artillery is insane. Yeah. Take that orcs. The Hell Blasters are going to have to focus on the Giants once they get within range. But for right now, we're doing really good. Um, Skarsnik himself... See, I knew they were going to do that. I knew they were going to send the, uh, the Snotlings or something up against these guys. Um, or the Night Goblin Squig Hoppers. I knew they were. 
Okay, um, no, because you always go in a stupid formation. Get out of there. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. Let's go to Snotlings. Get these guys back over here. Maybe I can hit the Snotlings with those things. Get the steam tank on that. Alright, let's, uh... Let's do this. Net of Ammon talk. There we go. We actually netted them. Let's hit them with the Hell Blasters. Take care of these guys. State troops ready. Now, take position. Get these guys in. Got to get our hand gunners back. Ready for war, warrior priest. We are Sigma's heirs. Let's get this vortex spell here. Yeah, they're still throwing rocks at the steam tank, but we're doing well. Very well. Great swords! At speed! All ranks, fire! We serve the Emperor! Hand gunners! Alright, snotling, snotlings are going away. Um, should have the... Yeah, there's, there's the army losses. Alright, let's chase this guy down. Um, this net of ammo talking. Net, net of him and talk him, and then let's uh, slay, slay him. Yes, sir. For the emperor. To battle. Ready for war. If we can get him, then he'll be, he'll be shattered. We gotta kill him so that he doesn't appear back on the on the map, just in case he escapes. Pit. Okay, there's an out of talk again. Let's let's do that again. Stop him. Again, really good, really good strat to keep them uh, slowed, and it really makes them they can't move. He'll still move though, because we'll hit him and kind of drive him away. But uh, it, it helps helps keep them. It, it helps catch enemy fleeing enemy lords. So that if you if you have a lord that's way too fast, just net out of and talk them, and they won't be able to move. Now he's gonna die. We'll uh, we'll run this out some max speed until he dies. There we go. Alrighty, and that's our first decisive victory. I think we might have enough time for another vic for another battle to fight. Did really well. Um, Skarsnik himself and one of his uh, one of his nasty skulkers got a lot of kills, but that's because we forgot to to bring the uh, hand gunners back. But we got a whole lot of kills through our our artillery only a few through our infantry but we did really well so that was a good that was a good battle even though we, we were gonna win because it wasn't really that fair I wanted to have at least one in the <coughs> in the video and I'm trying to do at least two battles for you guys so that'll give us his defeat trait which one did it one of what he grants us it's been a long time since I fought him <coughs> I'm I'm interested to see it. All right, it's a uh, that's a nice standard that we got. A whole bunch of money too, and the, the army isn't wiped, but uh, we'll be able to wipe it pretty easily. All right, so um, again, I'm going to go north with him to link up with uh, Carl's forces. 
There's Azag right there. He's got his wyvern, got all that stuff. Um, where's where's Ungrim? Okay, Ungrim's over here. Bunch of slayers. He's got a bunch, a bunch of slayers. But uh, let's see, we got we all got to level up. All right, so do veteran devastating charge. He's almost got a hundred charge bonus. All right, soon he'll get a Pegasus at 16. So one more level up, I believe. I believe he's 50. He's, he's maxed out of all these skills, so I'm just going to do like these extra skills. And then he's got 11. Shield of Faith. Immediately get that. Wow. All right. Uh, yeah, let's finish him off. Right, get out of here. All right. Now he's got his Pegasus. Yes. Then we'll take the High Place, World's Edge Gateway, Mount Gundabad. We'll just hand them all over and then um we're gonna go up north deal with azag um he doesn't have the darkland orcs so after we finish this up here and we give it all to the dwarves then we'll take these two armies and i think i'm gonna send one north to help out uh kislev and probably be carl's army the other one's gonna go down here to mop up these orcs and vampires i might even do an expedition to the darklands or down here to deal with the skaven um, because they will pose a threat, but we've got the Empire pretty much centrally secured. Um, we just have to help deal with external threats. Alright, it's Mordheim, sure, we'll upgrade you, assign skill points. Yep, um, I knew that was happening. Let's do, let's unlock these skills. So now he's got his Pegasus, so he should be able to fly around and cast spells and cast his net of Amintok and all that. You summon me. We'll probably have to deal with him fighting that that garrison army. Um, that won't have to deal with. Uh, this will bolster the nation. Hopefully, hopefully he'll die by trying to attack someplace, and then we'll get our victory conditions for a short campaign victory. All right. If we could finish this episode off with a short campaign victory, that'd be really good. All right. So we're moving up. Clan Skyer is getting really, really scary looking. Okay, he didn't attack. I don't know where he's going. Alright, the Ice Court in being attacked by Wintertooth. Someone's sieging the Silver Pinnacle. Zulfbar attacking the Disciples of the Maw. Um, I don't like being at war with Azag, but I get it. I knew that was happening. Alright, now I'm going to try. Alright, you're just going to take it? Okay, well, I'm going to take it back. Alright. Nearby mercenaries. Right. There we deal with them. Scheme of Doom. Sartosa destroyed. We lost our settlement there. And Fame Pact. Short victory achieved. Glory to you. Glory to us. The war will go, will go ever on, but for the nature, for that is the nature of this turbulent world. But for this moment, we could claim a short campaign victory. Awesome. All right. Well, I'll uh, I'll have Very to gear well. up. I'll have to gear up to attack him. So, to do that, um, I'm probably gonna give him some uh, some hell blasters or hell storms. A hell storm and uh, hmm, I'm not gonna get war wagon. So that'll be four turns. And Balthazar just had to be. He just had to be at this point. Didn't he? Uh, all right. Well, I'll just leave it at that. <sighs> then Azag, what does he got? Um, iron guts, ogre balls, ogre balls, saber tusks. Gorgers. He, he buffs up Gorgers quite a bit. Now Blar Trappers. Where's I just been sitting in Barak Var for the longest time? I will right. marshal the bed. Nope. Okay, so replenishment here. Yes. To unite the provinces. This will probably be the last one here for the for the campaign for today. Men, I'm gonna attack this on. one, do another green skin battle. Oh. Okay, that's quite a bit. Do they have they have a minor settlement? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's a minor settlement battle. Alright. We'll do it though. He's got a few units and then he's got a few reinforcing units. It'll be pretty simple to de to deal with though, because we have we have quite a bit of damage in units ourselves. Alright. This will be the last battle for today, Strat fans. Um because the episode will run a little long because doing squeezing two battles into it. Um, and I, again, I apologize for the redundancy of the enemies, but uh, you know, eventually we will fight um, different enemies. 
dealing with the Empire, you have to deal with a lot of orcs. You got to deal with a lot of um, vampires. I mean, dealt with most of the vampires. Um, so we're pretty much down to dealing with the orcs now, and then we'll probably fight Skaven, and then then finally go to Norskins and the Northmen, which are the the cream the criminal cream of the enemies. Um, I'm feeling like I should deal with their reinforcements first. So I'm probably going to camp my forces here so I can deal with the reinforcements and then move right into the square. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Because, you know, he has um, one reinforcing army coming in there. That Wa army. Um, so... But the, the main settlement force is always going to be inside the settlement. Oh, it's a, it's a dwarven undercity. That's different. Yeah, see, these little wolf, wolf riders and all that? I'm going to deal with them first and then go through the streets here. So let's, uh, let's set up. Target, General. Hell blast the bully gun! All right, we'll set it up there. State troops ready. My order it's rough. That's an order. This ain't going to be fair at all. Sigma calls. Just in case they get Antsy will have the demigriffs ready, but we are going to be shelling them with our um, with our hellstorms first. All right, our magic is twenty one, which is really good, really good. So I could probably cast some spells on them too. All right, let's start deployment, and then as soon as they stop, they start coming. They're going to be like five seconds or so. So um, should be able to start pounding them with the uh, hellstorms. Yeah. Ready for war. No, no, fire. Fire, fire. fire at them. Hell blaster. Ready to engage. Knowledge is power. Do that. No. Why are you firing at that? Fire at those guys. There we go. That's about time. Come on. Yeah, we're deal we're just dealing with these guys before. There we go. Uh, really? Okay, so that the reinforcements are dealt with now. So now we can move our um, our guys up there. We may have to move the hellstorms to a better position, so I'll do that. Let's move the demigriffs over here to cover. Alright, deal with that. Emperor, go deal with that. We're going to move our, our gunpowder units in and pick them off as much as we can. You don't have that good of units, dude. You should stop firing at me. Hellblaster! Move yes. the Hellblasters over there. To me, man. All right. That building should fall pretty fast. They're wasting their ammunition firing at me because I, I negate most of your weak, weak missile strength. There we go. Now we're shooting. These orc biggins are going to take a lot of damage from us. Let's get that up there so they can start firing as well. Yeah, Carl's taking like no damage. And they're just sitting there. I love how sometimes the AI will just sit there and let me shoot them. I love it that they let me do that. 
these big ones they have they're just sitting here boss I think we're getting shot up nonsense Pit of shades here. Oh, that's going to cause a lot of damage. Just able to shoot, pick them off at will. Literally, at will. Alright, let's do that one too. <laughs> okay, let's watch that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Already, it's a lot of black orcs taking damage. We'll do that. We are They're just focusing fire on Carl, and he's not taking any damage. Marina, guide our uh, Jesus. Okay. Hellstorm rocket battery. That's Let's move these yes, guys sir, up quickly. so that we can move the hellstorms up. Because for some reason they need move they need out. to get off that back hill. I think we're taking a lot of enemies out though with our ranged weapons, which is funny because orcs thrive on melee. So you'd think they'd want to go into melee. Oh, would you look at that? I might have to send my my uh, wizard to go deal with that one now because they built a tower over there even though it's just a small tower like it's just a tier one it's gonna do s some small damage to my hand gunners He's gonna get a lot of kills. I guarantee you, he's gonna get a lot. And we've already killed most of these trolls. So they're just sitting there letting me do it. Hellstorm! Crank that machine! Yes, sir! Uh, there you go, finally. Alright, finally. I have a little bit of fire going over. That's good. Alright, let's get those guys finally dead. That'll, that'll, that'll kill them. Yeah, we're, we're doing really well. Yep. The, I mean, some of the some of the angles here are kind of frustrating, but we're getting good angles here, even though they are, you know, building some uh, defenses that are causing a little bit of damage. Return, it's not enough. Carl could hit this. If he could hit this and do some damage and take it out, then he could go fly around and hit the other ones and take them out. Come on, hit this one. Knock it out. There you go. There you go, Carl. There's a big boy. Doing a lot of damage to them, and, they, and they're just—they're focused on Carl because he's a high-valued target. But Carl is just like playing them. All right, let's do that one. Using as much magic as possible. <laughs> that'll 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 take care of those units. I don't think they're gonna come back anytime soon. And we're literally wiping the floor of them. Can you hit them, or do you have to 
literally get within range or walk right up to them. Is that what you're saying? Seeking enemy! Yeah. Pick your targets! Alright. Ooh, that'll deal with a lot of damage. Yep. Alright, we'll deal My with this tower. Cool. See, the towers will be rebuilt, but if you hit them um, enough, they'll they'll take them a little while before they're rebuilt. March. I do want to draw the black orcs out so that they can, you know, so I can shoot them. Cause like, look at that. If we kill the black orcs, then our infantry will have no problem dealing with the enemy infantry. Take the ground, Grey Guardian. You're just letting me do it, AI. You're letting me do it. You, you shouldn't do allow this. You're literally letting me do it. Quick march. Like I, I'm causing so much damage to you because you're just letting me do it. Alright, here come the squigs. That that might actually be a problem. There's another. I can ca cast another spell. Uh, in fact, let's let's do let's do this one. Pit of shades. It's a static. It's a static spell. Anyone that walks through it is going to get get damaged. Yeah, it's going to cause so much damage. That squig herd taking so much damage, and it pulls them together too. They're they're just like, oh, it's Carl. Let's let's shoot him. I mean, yeah, if I went down and actually fought them with Carl, even though I, I think I could probably win, you know, it's not like, it's not like Carl's weak. I just prefer to uh, do the cheesy way. All right, let's, let's try to kite them into our line of fire. See, we just have this corridor here. So if I kite them into the corridor, maybe they'll the enemy will be shot at by my guys. Hey, look at that. Shot at. So a couple of them made it there. One of them actually did. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Fire! Are we able to fire? We are. Okay. Yeah, um, that's that's a. Ooh, boy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're we're doing a lot now. Yeah, squigs are coming in, but they're gonna die. So, um, all we gotta do now is just get the trolls, um, cause all these other ones are gonna be pretty easy to deal with. 
let's deal with that tower because it's it's like I said a lot of times when you're facing these these battles especially if you're fighting a, as a faction like the Empire you're gonna be dealing with a lot of passive damage that's going to cause a lot of problems like from towers whoop, whoop, whoop. does a lot of damage how many kills is he? 70 already jeez and like you know if you focus on the towers all right, let's, uh, are you going to be able, no, you got, you got to get into position, don't you? Let's just do that, shall we, shall we? Because they're moving into position. All right, that'll probably deal with the rest of them. Yeah, those guys are shattered now, those big ones. Guys are shattered now. They're not coming back. All right, and then, oof! There we go. That those guys walk into it now. Yeah. Um. <laughs> erased. Those trolls are being erased right now. Literally, there's two of them left, and they're about to be erased. Yeah, that's insane. Yes. Okay. To battle. Seeking enemy. Formation. March. Yeah, we should be Ready able to deal with them war. now. Um, Carl's taken minimal damage, and they've been firing the entire yes. time. My subjects call. Let's do some more comment. volleys. There we go. That works. Ulrich's wrath on them. They're out. So we just have one. Should be running low on ammo. Those are big ones. Oof. Those big ones. They're taking a beating. Yeah. We're not even going to have enemies to fight. Because soon all the melee troops are just going to be so dead that they're not going to be able to put up a fight. Let's do this. Orc arrow boys. And then we'll send in our uh, our melee infantry. Right, let's make sure we do as much damage as possible to the enemy. There we go. They're going to retreat. Um, yeah, we have a lot of enemy forces retreating. A lot of them not knowing what to do. All right, let's send in our, our melee troops. Prepare for combat. We are Sigmar's heirs. Hellstorm. We obey. Moving now. All right, we'll have Carl there to support them because our great swords have to do good. You're gonna send any volleys towards the enemy? I hope. No, you're not. Okay, you are. A couple. A couple volleys. Alright, halt. And keep those, those guys there. We will... I will send Carl in the back. Well, no, I won't. I'm going to send these guys up here to do some more at speed this is my command attack 
activate Gol Moraz. By Alric's wrath, quickly. We and are you will fire at the on the orc boys. Soldiers of the Empire. All right, we're gonna move these guys in here. Quicker! Ready and the warrior priest smite. over on the side here. The Empire endures. Um, okay, you took a lot of. Ca Detachments, oh, move. I see. Because of the the like I said, passive damage is is the biggest problem. <laughs> took passive damage. That's the biggest problem yes. we have. Moving faster. Curse the foe. Now. Hand gunners. Sigma guides us. Hell blaster. Find your targets! Hellstorm! Whoa! Go! Get them! My rule is absolute! Yes, sir! Demogriff Knights! Send the Demogriffs over here, yes, deal with those. Lord. Capture that. Don't misfire. Don't no. No. I don't want yes, you over there. Lord. No. Formation. March. That should be the and that mu that must be the uh the yeah. <laughs> that was the casualties. The battle the army losses. Alright. That was a good battle. Decisive victory. Alright, let's see how many we took with us. They only took 133. We took over a thousand. Oh my god. <laughs> Our hand gunners, hellstorms, and um and uh <clears throat> and um and hell blasters are were just insane. Even though one hell blaster almost was completely wiped out due to passive damage. Oh, jeez. We took a lot of them down. That was a really good battle. And that'll take this settlement from them. Like I said, right now our, uh, our priorities are to maintain peace in the Empire and uh, deal with outside threats. So that's why we're attacking these, uh, these orcs. We're looking on... We're, we're keeping an eye out for Norska... Because eventually, once the Empire is secured, I am going to do, um, like, like counter-invasion of Norska and the Northern Wastes so that we can, uh, keep the enemy away. Yeah, we took a lot of... We did, dealt a lot of damage. Damn, he did so much damage. Alright, and we'll occupy it. Right, that deals with that army. And we're just gonna kind of hip-hop through here. Um... Take Karakungor and then uh, deal with Azag. And then I think actually what I'll do is I'll take Carl out of there and we'll go down south because um, Azag's slaughterer is, is going to be a big problem. And we might have to help um, Balthazar here. So that'll be next time though. Before we I end, I will spend the points these guys. You have anything to upgrade? I don't think so. Alright, and with that, Strat fans, that'll do it for today's episode. A little extra longer because we had the two battles, but um, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you can, if you like this content that I'm putting out for you, feel free to leave a like, comment, and maybe subscribe to my channel to see more. And uh, with that, Strat fans, that'll conclude it for today. Keep it strategic. Colonel out.